backwards onto a printer's thing, okay, can make that kind of mistake. And over in about a hundred places throughout the printing of the King James Bible, they made those kinds of mistakes. But you, what you don't see is them taking the phrase, Lord Jesus Christ, out. You don't see them taking prayer and fasting out. You don't see them taking 1 John 5, 7 out. Big difference here. Okay? And then in uh, 1762 and 1769, there was standardization of spelling. Uh, because as you can see here, you can see the word heaven and earth, and the earth was without form, F-O-R-M-E. That's not how we spell it. Okay? And void and darkness with an E on the end of it was upon the face of the deep. With the, so they corrected because around uh, 1769 is when English really became, and the spelling became universal. Except the Britons still have some problems with some words put an E on the end of it. Okay, which we'll forgive them of. Huh? Oh, yeah, they just, yeah, we're the ones that changed it. Blame it all on us. Okay? But here's, here's, here's also what happened, okay? After 1611, two of the translators, John Boyes and Samuel Ward, did a thorough proofread of the KJV text. They went back over, the two of the translators went back over it, and they said, it's the same Bible that we came up with, okay? We just have to change some of the typography, some of the correction of spelling, some of the typographical errors, and so on. That's all we have to change. So when you are told, and, you, and people are going to tell you, King James, which King James Bible do you believe in? You can say, I got this one. Pull out this, uh, download and pull out this document and show them. According to the American Bible Society, it's the same one. Do you know any different? And when you ask them to show them your, their proof, they'll run. Because they have no proof. Okay? Here's what they said. The English Bible is left by the translators has come down to us unaltered in respect to its text. With the exception of typographical errors and changes required by the progress of orthography in the English language, the text of our present Bibles remains unchanged and without variations from the original copy as left by the translators. Does that, is that good enough for you? A team of experts examined it and said, you have the same Bible now as they did in 1611. Aren't you glad somebody say amen? Okay? Um... The, the Bible is not subject to the changes given by man. The real one. Amen? So we're going to take a break. And then we're going to come back. Let's say, uh, how long a break do you want? I didn't say how long a nap you wanted. Let's break for about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, stretch your legs a little bit. I'm going to drink some water. And uh, then we're going to come back and we're going to see what happens in a church when you take this out. What do you replace it with? Okay? So, and that'll be the last thing we do today. All right, you're dismissed. Yes? Ah. Yeah. Sure he did. Yeah. And, and that say that King James was a sodomite, that it was everything else. The, the thing, you, you know what? King James didn't translate it. He never put his finger in the tra He never... That's right, he was a good guy. Okay. Listen, when you don't like the message, what do you do? You attack the messenger. And they have attacked him and, and credited him around as everything in the world. Number one, he'd had, he did not influence the translation one bit. Okay? He didn't translate it. That's right. He, that's right. Uh, you ought to read King James's tract that he wrote. You ought to read it.
there was like three stages in English, Old English, Middle English, and Common English that we speak now. And he was going to tell me that the English of the King James was put back to like, like the 1300s. Okay? Uh, and a little English, there's some of the words that are the same and some are not. If you read uh, Tyndale, you get like Google Tyndale Bible. And you can you can look at it. Hello. It's really hard to read. It's hard to understand. Okay. Um, and the claim is, is that what the King James Bible is? Hello. Okay. That was the one. That was the one. The original is in English, so therefore you read that one. That that's what you got. You got to be crazy. See that picture there? We we have we have a group of guys that come from. A, a group home here in this county. And they're all um, they're all mentally handicapped. In some cases, physically, and they they live in a group home and they have people taking care of them. And they started coming here about ten years ago. And we just love them to death. And you know, sometimes they'll have a little episode here and there. You know, but it never really bothered us. Well, there was one of them, the, of the first group that started coming here named Mike. And he just, and all there's four of them. And they all love to come to church, but they they couldn't find the church and let them come, you know, because they were all handicapped and all that stuff. And I said, yeah, bring them here. So mine started coming here, and, and the other guys with him, and we just fell in love with him, and he loved our church, and that. he was he was kind of challenged a little bit, but he knew what was going on. Well, he they would let him, he he would do art, and he would paint pictures. Okay. Guy sitting in a wheelchair, can't really move, can't think, can't talk right, but he's painting all this stuff. And so he painted Okay. He painted a picture for us. And then he died right after that. And so we they gave they gave that picture to us and he just always I gotta go find out what my mommy wants. 